I'm George. I'm Theo. I'm William. And we're going to bury the time capsule Today. together. The time capsule is, is near Bath Riverside. I put a mobile phone in and a picture. I um, put in two Lego red baked beans. Two Lego books. And a picture. Awesome! We've come from the school to Bath Riverside and we're so excited to bury the time capsule. I think to most of us the Bath Western Riverside site was, was just a, an area which no one ever went into so I think for the children to realise there was a, a, I think a factory here and all the things that have been found on the site since they started doing the building work is something that fascinates them. I mean even today they were looking at some of the artefacts that have been dug out of the ground and you know really in awe of the sort of things that were around in that last hundred years that this site has been used. Some of the things that Peter Dickson brought in to show the children were some pebbles, uh, which uh, impressed in there have been some of the items that are found on the, on the site, such as a, a number four and a key and uh, you know, various items from when the, the, the site had been used in the past. Uh, also, there were some amazing wings that were made by another artist uh, because he works a lot with birds and things. And on there, inscribed were questions and ideas to get people thinking about you know, what is still around in the future and what's around now. So there's some amazing things there that, you know, excited the children. I think real life experience is important to children because sometimes they can be so insular in a school, they need to see that there's more to life than what goes on in the classroom, to see there's other people involved in projects, it's not just them in their classroom and they can be involved with things that are going on in the world outside, which is important for them as they grow up to realise there's so many connections in life that can be important to them. What's been good about it is the project has included not just our school, but a lot of other people from the community. So we've got the artists such as Peter Dickinson, we've got Ben Rushko, the Paralympian, have been involved. We've got the Lord Mayor here today as well. So it's not just the school, it's about a lot of people who are involved in the city of Bath. I mean, they've met some people today, which, you know, have probably inspired them to think, ah, artists, you know, people working on sites, mayors, people, you know, organising events. It's all things that it's good for them to see. pretty because there's lots of purple flowers and there's nice hills to run down. Well it's amazing I haven't been here for you know many months and it's completely changed since the last time I saw it. I've seen the flats going up but I didn't realise this area had been laid down you know such a, a beautiful area in, in the middle of the city. Yeah.